Hey guys, Croupman here, and in this video, I realized that I still had one empty CPU mining rig. And I actually had watched uh, a Rusky's, Rusky's Crypto Cave video, link down below, give him a follow, he's a great content creator. And he said his 2700X died, and then he was mining with it. And it made me think, 2700X? I realized that my buddy left one at my house for like the last two years and I keep bugging him. I'm like, do you want it back? He's like, no, you can just keep it if you're using it. And I use it once in a while to make sure motherboards are working. And I realized I have enough spare parts, like a spare power supply. Um, Zach at 3D Print Master has sent me a few more of the, uh, C the uh, CPU brackets. And then I had some random stinky, not very good cooler uh, while I wait to eventually uh, buy my last 3900X to go on this old B350 motherboard. So I figured, why not put this 2700X in and see how it mines? So in this video, we're going to build a 2700X mining rig and see how it mines and give you my thoughts on it. All right, guys. So without further ado, let's start building. And in post, it actually didn't, I forgot that this motherboard, this motherboard is so old and beat up, doesn't post when the graphics card's in the top spot. <laughs> but it posted and it works. So let's go ahead and get this thing mining and I'll show you the results. Okay, so now that it posted, we're in the BIOS. I have no idea how to overclock this thing. Um, I don't know, let's start with like 0.95. It's already, it's only at one volt. So here, you know what? Actually, let's take it to 31. We'll take it to 31 and we'll see how it does. So let's see if I don't blow this thing up. Be right back. Okay, so it crashed uh, when the OS opened. So let's reboot it, get it back in the BIOS. Uh, we're gonna go to 0.8 or 98 volts. We'll see if that makes it stable. Okay, it booted and it's stable and I have no issues. So I'm gonna move this into the garage and I'm gonna put it on a miner for, I don't know, maybe in a few hours and let's see how it does. Here you can see the 2700 rig in all of its glory. I literally just popped it on my bench area, which is a little bit, uh, it's full right now. It, was, it normally just goes over there, but I needed it over here because I needed to get the actual power reading for the whole machine. So we've got right over here, we've got the watts at the wall. You can see it's 86 watts fully hashing and I'm, it's hot, really only temporary. So you saw that it's 86 watts. Let me show you one more time. 86 watts at the wall. This has been on for about four, four hours. This is the Corsair PSU, four hours, give or take. So now that we have the hash rate and the watts, Let's get to uh, let's get to the mining calculators and see how profitable this thing is. All right, so here's Robin Mining's mining calculator. I recommend giving him a follow. He's a fantastic content creator. You can see the random X settings right here. We've got 47, uh, 4,751 mega hash and 86 watts. And we calculate and you can see we're getting about 15 cents on random X. I double checked the calculator on hashrate.no to get, I got 15 cents as well. Uh, I don't recommend using hashrate.no for anything but these calculators. So let's, let's look, I'm just scrolling. Let's see what kind of GPU makes 15 cents a day. Let me move myself up in terms of profitability. We're gonna have to scroll down quite a bit. Uh, you know, you're looking at a 750 and a 3050, I mean, 1660 Ti range kind of. Uh, so, I mean, it, you know, it's not very profitable. Um, so one of the things that makes CPU mining so good is that you can get, say, a 3900X, which makes about, I don't know, it makes like, here, let's look real quick, right? 
So if we go to a 3900X, because I know that is actually correct in here. We go to 3900X and they make about uh, 68 to 74 cents a day, right? So if we go to GPUs, what GPU makes that? 74 cents on a GPU, you're looking at the 4080, right? So you can build a, a 3900X mining rig for 350 bucks, everything all in. And a 4080 is going to cost you 850, 900 on a good day. So you could almost do three to one in terms of CPU to GPU mining rigs, right? And that's one of the big advantages of CPUs, even though they are harder to scale and they certainly have some issues of their own. But this is one of the big reasons you buy a CPU mining rig. Well, if you compare the 3700 or the 2700 non X to like a 3050, I mean, or an A770, which was like 170 bucks. Let's look at the price of a 3070 or a 2700. Looks like you can get them for like, I don't know, like, let's just go with like 60 bucks on eBay, right? So if you can get them for, say, 60 bucks on eBay, let's pull up the calculator. So it costs you basically, say, 235 bucks to get an entire CPU mining rig. I'm talking RAM, power supply, motherboard, stand and uh that's i'm sure i'm missing something but i added all i added everything in so it'll cost like 235 bucks it's definitely cheaper to buy a gpu than this cpu now to be fair right if you were to buy this and then you were to sell the 2700 and upgrade down the road i mean you could do that too uh but you know this is probably not worth it for 15 cents a day however if you have one lying around, like as you saw, I had all those parts basically just just lying around with nothing to do uh, because I had built that rig and I'm just waiting for the 3900, then I would definitely mine with it. Like if you have a, a, an old PC, you can just basically take out the GPU and anything that's wasting power like fans and anything you don't need, turn it on and go and it'll make you some money. Like I'm going to leave that 2700 uh, mining rig on until my buddy either asks for his 2700 back, which... Who knows if he's going to do that, or I get a 3900X to replace it eventually. So essentially the point of this video is like these old CPUs, if you have them, they're probably worth mining on. You know, I don't, I think at this point you probably aren't, I mean, I don't think you'd probably be mining with like a 1600, but maybe it might be worth looking into who, like I would at least check it out. So I hope this video uh, was entertaining for you. Essentially what I'm saying is if you have older CPUs, you might as well just turn them on if, as long as you can get proper power readings and see if they're profitable to mine with like I just did. And if they're profitable, what's the harm in mining with them? Definitely don't go out and buy one of these things. Uh, just, I, would, I would probably not buy anything less than like a 3800X. I probably would only stick to the 3900X honestly, but like 3800X, maybe. I wouldn't buy anything. I definitely wouldn't buy a 3600 or a 3700X. But if you have them, mine with them. That's the moral of the story. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more GPU and CPU mining content. The March to 4000 continues, and I've got some fantastic content coming up. Group man.